Hi, Sam. Morning, Arnold. So how are you today, Arnold? I'm great, thank you. It's a wonderful day as usual, the sun is out, everyone's happy, and it's just amazing. You know, Sam, we're lucky to live in such a perfect world. Oh, well, I'm late for work. I'll speak to you when I get home. OK, bye. Arnold, you're late. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Make sure that it doesn't. You know, sometimes I just don't know what the point of any of this is. There is so much more we could be doing with our time than just noting down pointless stuff. I mean, what's it all for? We're just hamsters in wheels, powering a system that keeps us from thinking for us. Arnold, what are you doing? I was just, uh... If you don't stop this chatter and start working, we will never increase efficiency by 30% this year. Now get back to work. Hi Arnold. Hi Sam. Rough day? <sighs> Just a bit. But never mind, because it's the weekend now and I can't wait to go out. Oh, where are you going to? Oh, just the Olive Grove. But it's ladies' night tonight, so you never know what could happen. And you know what, Sam? I think tonight's my lucky night. If I play my cards right and keep it cool, I don't think I'm going to be single for much longer. But we'll see.
Hey Sam, did you want to come along tonight? I'm okay, thank you. I'm quite happy just staying here. Oh, are you sure? Definitely. Oh, okay. Sam, what's it like being a cat? What do you mean? Well, what's it like not really having a purpose in life? To be honest, in the world we live in, nobody really has a purpose. We can jazz everything up and make it look nice, but when we look at it for what it is, most of what we do is, well, meaningless. Yeah, but it's different for you. I mean, you're going to live about 50 or 60 years less than me. You say that like it's a bad thing. Hmm. Well, I'm going to head off. I'll see you later. Okay, have a nice night, Arnold. Thanks. Bye. Hi guys. Alright Arnold, what'll it be? Oh, just the usual please mate. Coming right up. Cheers. So how's it been tonight? Very busy. Yeah, fairly. Can't say much for the girls, but there are a few stunners, if you look closely. Arnold, you coming for a dance? Yeah, we're okay. What beauty do I see before me? She is surely love personified. Her rosy skin, her soft hair, her luxurious body. Like Beethoven's Ninth, like the Eiffel Tower, she is magnificent. Go and speak to her, Arnold. <laughs> yeah, go for it, mate. Um, excuse me, I don't usually do this, but you just look so beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Would you like to dance? Okay. Go on, give her a kiss. Yeah, go on. I've had such a lovely time tonight. You are so amazing. Even though we've only just met, it feels like I've known you my whole life. We must meet again soon, yes? Okay. Well, good night.
Ah, oh, what a wonderful day. It's even more perfect than usual. Did you have a nice time last night, Arnold? Ah, oh, nice doesn't even start to describe it, Sam. It was unbelievable. I met a girl, and she looked better than a thousand roses, and tasted sweeter than a sea full of candy floss. Oh, I'm really happy for you, Arnold. Are you seeing her today? Well, that's the thing. It all depends on. What was that? Arnold, I need to speak to you about something. Hold on a second. Arnold. What happened, Arnold? There was someone at the door. They left a letter. Arnold, I think we need to speak about something. Dear Mr Lane, since your departure from the St Martin's Health Centre, it has been in our best interest to monitor your independent progress. After a gradual decrease in communication with you, we feel that there is a cause of concern about your current state of health. We have tried to contact you numerous times over the past six months but have had no response. If you fail to speak to us in the next 14 days or refuse to answer the door on hospital officials visit, we will have to conclude that there is a problem with your health and be forced to enter the house without permission. What is this? Arnold, you need to wake up and face the truth. It's not real, Arnold. None of it's real. What are you talking about? All of this. It's all fake. You've made it up. What? You're crazy. No, Arnold. Look under the bed. There's a black box. Open it, Arnold. You see, Arnold, you were one of the unfortunate people in life. You had a horrible childhood. Your dad left your family when you were very young and your mother was emotionally unstable and couldn't take care of you on her own. Every day, for years, you were the victim of her abuse. By the time you got to school, you didn't know how to act normally because no one ever showed you how. You were an outcast. You were strange. You just wanted to be loved but no one ever gave you a chance. By the age of 19, you were being taken care of in a home for individuals with severe depression. They diagnosed you with paranoid schizophrenia. They blamed your mother. After three years in the home, they deemed you fit to take care of yourself. They gave you a house, an income and checked up on you every week. They stopped the checkups after a few months and assumed that you would be able to cope on your own. But you just couldn't. You couldn't live with the fact that you were alone, that no one loved you, so you made up your own world, Arnold, one that could give you everything you ever wanted in life. Happiness, meaning, acceptance. You forced yourself to forget what happened in the past and blocked out all the bad memories. You started to devotedly believe your lies and then you were happy. And now they're coming to take you away, Arnold, to help you. What? I don't need help. I'm not crazy and this isn't fake. Arnold, you need to face the truth. I don't. I don't. This is the truth. Arnold, look at the window. Take it down, Arnold. No. 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 
no, it's not fake. It's not fake. Everybody. What's wrong, Arnold? I just got a letter that said some crazy stuff. That none of this is real, that I've made you all up. What? That's rubbish. Yeah, you know it's not true. They're just trying to lie to you, Arnold, because they're scared. Come for a dance, Arnold. Yeah, don't worry about it, Arnold. Do you want a drink, Arnold? If this were true, then you would know... The facts of life are lovely... And that everything is... Everything is... Everything is important... Then... Change. Arnold, I know it's going to be hard, but you need to realise that... No! You believe me, don't you, darling? They'll never split us apart of their lies. It's me and you till the end. Arnold, that's just your own reflection. What are you on about? This is my girlfriend. Arnold. This isn't my reflection. I don't look like this. See, this is what I look like. Arnold, that's just a picture. Yeah, right. You're crazy. Next you're going to be telling me these aren't flowers. They're not flowers, Arnold. You're crazy. This is what I look like. And if I must that, I'm looking my best today. Arnold. No! I don't look like this! Arnold, you need to face the fact that... Just leave me alone. Arnold. Just leave me alone! Are you all right, Arnold? No. This is too much. It's the truth, Arnold. They're going to be coming in a few days and you need to start facing the fact that this is wrong. No, it's not wrong. I live in a world where I wake up, have a lovely time and then go to bed. How can anyone say that's wrong? But they don't see it that way, Arnold. They don't think you're healthy. But I am healthy. I'm healthier than most other people. I love my life. How many other people can say that? You've got to accept it, Arnold. They're going to take you away. It might not be right, but it's going to happen. But why can't they just leave me alone? I'm not hurting anyone. I'm living my life the way I want to live it. Why can't they just let me be happy? They're trying to help you, Arnold. They're not going to help me. They're going to kill me. I can't live in their world. There's too much hate. I won't be able to breathe in without picturing all the people that despise me and wish I wasn't alive. Arnold, listen to me. It's going to be okay. You just need to remember that although you've gone through bad experiences in the past, they won't all be like that. You could change it all, Arnold. You could be... Oh no, I thought we had more time. I thought they wouldn't be here for at least a couple of days. Now listen, Arnold, you need to realise that... No, no, they can't. They can't. What you no. need to focus on is... No, they can't. They can't. Arnold! They're not flowers. They're not flowers. Not flowers. They're not. They're not flowers. They're not. They're not flowers. They're not flowers. They're not flowers. They're not flowers, Arnold. They're not flowers, Arnold. Not flowers. They're not flowers. Not flowers. Not flowers. Not flowers. Not flowers. Mr. Lane.
Help me, Sam! 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 Sam.